Thank you, Claire. Grieving families, law enforcement and elected officials around the triad filled the Warnersville Community Recreation Center here in Greensboro. It was for a memorial set to honor loved ones who died by homicide. WFMY News 2's Giselle Thomas was there and spoke to families still mourning. 74. That's the number of homicides that took place here in Greensboro last year. Those who have passed have families who love them dearly. They tell me that the death of their loved one has changed their lives forever. With a song, a dance, and prayer, mothers standing against gun violence held their annual memorial to honor loved ones lost to homicide. 74 candles shaped in a heart were lit one by one to represent each life taken. For Jatana Lovett, it's about four months since she lost her 20-year-old son, Tyreek Wilson. Just thinking of him when they announced his name, it sort of brought tears to me too because I was just thinking about the things, you know, with him, what he'd done in my life while he was here. Greensboro police say Wilson was brutally stabbed to death in early October. GPD arrested his former girlfriend, Persia Deborah Ann Scales, who was allegedly charged with Wilson's murder. Lavette says not having her son at her wedding was heartbreaking. Just thinking, you know, about Tyreek, I missed him being at my wedding, but at my wedding, I'm, we made a memory of him. We had a picture of him at the wedding and stuff, and, you know, just thinking about him. His brothers say they are all musicians in their church, and things just aren't the same. And we post a hang up a banner in a church in the corner where he used to play the bass guitar. I like, get a little emotional. I can't sing like I used to because I stopped and started thinking about him. Like last Sunday I did that. I had stopped and had the whole church crying because we was all thinking about my brother. Those emotions bubble up for Ja'Kyrie at church just as they do for Zaykees on his birthday. We got the same birthday, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you know what I'm saying? I'm going to you know, celebrate my birthday the same way as it used to be. The family says faith and prayer is just one of the things that keeps them going. But I'm going to tell each and everybody out here that got children, pray over your children. Anoint them. Read the word to them because that's how I raised my boys. A memorial is set in downtown Greensboro near the Melvin Municipal Office with the 74 pictures of the lives lost by homicides. Greensboro police say some of these homicides are unsolved. If you see something, say something. You can call Greensboro Crime Stoppers to report a crime anonymously.